people uh, uh, used to talk about British sound uh, to describe um, Lenny Amps uh, and of course uh, all the Amps uh, coming from the UK and this uh, works uh, uh, very well as far as vintage inspired Amps uh, are concerned but guitar amp technology has evolved heavily over the years and with lots of uh, hybridism, hybridism of several different philosophy of um, amp design to match uh, the requirements of um, the modern players mm -hmm. um, who, as you said before, are always looking for more gain or more uh, or extreme definition, uh, tighter tone and so on. Uh, what does the expression British sound um, mean uh, nowadays in your opinion and how this heritage has been brought to the modern way to build high gain amplifiers? Well, you ask all the easy questions. <laughs> uh, there is a distinct British sound, I think, um, which came out of the 60s and 70s. And in my view, that's really in in the complement of output tubes. EL84s and particularly EL34s give a particular type of sound, whereas the the American manufacturers at that time were using 6L6, 6V6. Yes. Um, my opinion is that the EL34 gives gives a, a kind of softer, warmer sound, whereas the, the 6L6, 6V6 is a, is a slightly uh, tighter, more brittle sound. But it's a, it's a it's a minor issue. I think it's in the in the in the sixties seventies. The design philosophy was that the British sound became more the overdrive type of uh, sound. You know, the master gain amplifiers coming in, um, things like clip amplifier and, and to a degree AOR. Whereas the American direction was a more clean uh, type of sound. Um, I think now both sides of the Atlantic produce amplifiers which really fit both types of uh, requirements. Yeah. So I think the idea of a British sound has probably dissipated over the last 10 years. In fact, when we did the VH100R, one thing we were mindful of was that the output section could be configured quite easily for either the L34 or for 6L6. Um, very easily and with a bias adjustment for, for that type of sound. But also in the preamplifiers, effectively the VH100R is, is for preamplifiers, but the it, it, best way to describe it is the 2 plus 2. And the one amplifier, the way the EQ worked uh, and the way it was voiced, was very American in the way, in the way it operates. Uh, whereas the other channel, the more high gain, was, as we would see, more British in, in, in the way it sounds. And we were very aware of that, and at one time even used the word alliance, alliance. as, a, as, a, yeah, as, a, as an advertising uh, uh, description for yeah. this amplifier. So, I think it's, it's in, 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 the, in the manufacturer's eye, whether they're British or American, that, that line has, has certainly been crossed many, many times over the last few years. <laughs> I have to say, a very, very bad and very old bass player. <laughs> but we, we also know that you had a chance to play with uh, oh, Robert Barrison <laughs> and John Bonham <laughs> back in the days well, before they, they went uh, uh, to the Led Zeppelin thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's true. Um, back in the 60s, we, we, we live in the West, West Midlands and uh, in Stourbridge, West Bromwich area, which is where, as young kids, we grew up. Um, I think, uh, yes, at that time, 
played with John, played with Robert in, in band, the Band of Joy for a period. It was a very loose situation. <laughs> we were young kids, really, maybe 16 years old. It's 66, 67, that type of area. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, Robert was always destined for, for big star, and yeah. there was no doubt he was always, always spot on and quite demanding. And John was just something else. The loudest drummer you've ever had behind you in all your life. He was an absolutely awesome drummer. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was a very poor bass player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, talking about bass playing, uh, uh, would you like to, to talk uh, about your personal approach to bass and amplifier design? Because you know, we know you. I think. Um, <clears throat> From a bass player's point of view, what do you want? Well, you want it loud and you want to move a lot of air. That's the first thing. Um, and you want to get out of the drummer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I, that was the, the, the first criteria. And But I've always had this... There is a one school of thought with bass players that it's all got to be clean. And that you don't need anything other than a big volume control which is below the drummer, above the drummer. <laughs> um, and and you, do, you, you do have um, a certain situation, and some of the best bass players in the world, you, it's amazing what they can do, just purely flats, and it's all in the technique. Yeah. Now, I have to say, I don't have that technique. <laughs> but I also was very influenced in, in, in my early bass playing days by watching Jack, Jack Bruce. And the way that guy played, and the way he drove the amplifier and drove it into this kind of sustain, is something I still like. And in certain amplifiers, always like to have this ability just to drive the amplifier softly in, into into a bit of overdrive and a bit of distortion, and to warm it up. And to do that, you need a bit more EQ. And occasionally, you need a tube on the front end or something like that. But um, so that diff different things. Bass players are, 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 are very diverse in what they want. Um, from slap style, where you need a, a, a lot of high and you want to be able to be very percussive to the yeah. bass. Bass for me is as diverse in what you're doing as, as, you, as you're developing a clean to high overdrive amplifier. Bass players are probably unsung heroes occasionally in, the, in, in, in a band. Um, and can be quite melodic and quite musical. I have to deny all, all the abilities for <laughs> myself on this one, but uh, and require different things. Some require clean, some require overdrive, some some want a nice attack on the yeah. bass, some some want some deep growl in there. It's a, there's a lot of things to, to consider. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.